Today, I am going to be doing a deep dive into the Hello token, which is a cryptocurrency that I am extremely bullish on for this bull run. It's one of my most favorable picks in terms of low caps, both in terms of utility, hype, and also X gains potential. I do believe this project has 100X potential. And in today's video, I'm going to look a little bit deeper into it than normal. And it may be a long video, but I'm basically going to explain this project, how it works, and basically all of the reasons why I am so bullish on this project. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So before I explain this project in depth, please make sure to leave a like on this video. Also subscribe if you are new to my channel. I upload every single day on my channel, keeping you guys updated with the latest and the greatest projects. So we're going to start off with the very basics. We're going to go over the tokenomics, the market cap, the price, and things like that. So first of all, Hello Labs, also known as Hello, is a gaming slash entertainment cryptocurrency that is relatively new. This crypto launched in November or kind of around that time, 2022. So the very end of 2022, it was launched into the market. Um, starting off with a very, very small market cap, guys. It then went on to have a relatively nice rally. I believe it went up, um, you know, quite a lot in terms of market cap. So we went from a market cap of as low as 2 million all the way up to 45 million um, in just a matter of a few months. We have now retraced, according to Coin Market Cap, we're sitting at a market cap of around $27 million. So I believe right now is a great time to be DCAing into this crypto. As I said, it is new to the market. So therefore, newer projects, you know, out with the old, in with the new is the adage. Newer projects are going to garner more hype. They're going to be fresh to the market. And there's going to be less people who are looking to exit. Because of the fact that it's new, the people from previous bull runs aren't still holding their bags, hoping to sell on a green day. The people in this, or most of the people in this, are looking for a long-term gain, and they're going to be looking to hold this into the next bull run. So that's a very good thing. The fact that it is relatively new, um, only a few months old, less than a year old. So into the market cap, $27 million market cap. We know that in the gaming and kind of web-free entertainment industry, $27 million is very reasonable. It's very small. We've seen the likes of Gala go all the way up to $5 billion, and Axie Infinity go all the way up to $10 billion. So this level of 27 million is relatively low and is, you know, certainly has a lot of room for movement. The trading volume is quite high. We have $1 million in trading volume in the last 24 hours. I don't really talk about volume too much, but when you see high volume, it is usually a sign that people are actually using this. So it's pretty good to see that trading volume in. Now, the tokenomics on Hello are surprisingly good. Usually when we look at these types of cryptocurrencies, you know, low cap gaming projects, low cap entertainment projects, the tokenomics tend to be rather lackluster. I'll give you a few examples. Myria and GFAL and Gala last bull run, they all had pretty bad tokenomics. Now, Hello is wise enough to start off with pretty good tokenomics with a low risk of dilution. Now, I'm not really referring to token allocation. I'm not 100% sure how that was done. I do believe that the people on the show weren't given tokens, but I may be wrong when I say that. Um, but in terms of the actual percentage in circulation, it's 63%. It's very good. There's not going to be too much of a worry in terms of dilution. So that makes me kind of very happy about the project. We have 1 billion tokens, total supply and 1 billion tokens, max supply, with a fully diluted valuation of 44 million. So all of the boring things are out the way that I want to talk about. Um, other than obviously where you can buy it. And then we will get straight into um, more interesting topics. So if you do want to buy Hello Token, you can buy it on PancakeSwap or you can buy it on Mexi and Gate.io. I would grab it on PancakeSwap and get it off the uh, you know Trust Wallet. Get it on Trust Wallet, get it on MetaMask and probably store it on a cold wallet if you can. But Trust Wallet and MetaMask are usually pretty safe bets. I wouldn't hold it on Gate.io long-term and I wouldn't hold it on Mexi and certainly none of the others. So definitely hold it in a safe place if you are going to buy. But remember, guys, this video isn't financial advice. Always do your own research before ever buying a crypto token. So Hello Labs is a multifaceted entertainment crypto. Okay, They have gaming, 
and they have entertainment and TV shows. This is what you need to know. So their debut TV show is known as Killer Whales. Okay, very cool name, very snappy name. And that is scheduled to release in late 2023. You guys will know if you follow this project, they are already filming this right now. Um, it's already getting filmed. And you can see there, for example, Crypto Wendy in her seat, getting ready to judge um, crypto projects. So it's already getting used. It's already going through kind of, well, not getting used. It's already in the process of the show actually going ahead. They are filming it. Um, and the judges are already basically judging projects. Uh, you can see here it says offering a platform for the next wave of projects to rebuild the industry's credibility and unearth the web free unicorn in the process. So it's a very interesting take. Basically, what they're doing is like a shark tank or a, a dragon's den if you're in the UK, where web free projects will come over, they will pitch their idea, whether it's a gaming project, a DeFi project, whatever it is, they will pitch it to the whales. And they may or may not basically get investment. So it's a very smart, innovative idea. And um, I would watch it. I'm a crypto investor. And I would really enjoy watching a TV show like this. Um, and I think many of us will. So it's a very good um, genius marketing strategy as well. And the reason why it's so genius in terms of its marketing strategy is the fact you're getting huge influencers such as Crypto Wendy on board. And many, many others, guys. It's not just Crypto Wendy. You can see here the whole cast, the whole kind of panel of judges is vast. You've got the likes of Altcoin Daily, Crypto Wendy, and many, many more. So all these different influencers all carry fan bases. And all of their fan bases, all of their followers are potentially going to watch this show and therefore buy the Hello token. Um, so it's a very good marketing stunt as well. Now, let's talk a little bit more about the project and, um, you know, the use cases of the token. So Hello obviously has their Killer Whales TV series. Some people are saying you're going to be using the token to actually watch the TV series, but I don't think this is the case. I don't think you need the token to watch the TV series. Hello also has NFTs. So if you scroll right down to the bottom, you will see the Hello NFTs. So not only is this gaming, not only is this entertainment, but it's also dabbling into that NFT sector. Now, if you guys remember last bull run, NFTs went crazy in terms of hype. And I think Hello, obviously, is a hype project. It's colorful. It's flashy. If NFTs become big again, people are probably going to look towards this as a potential NFT project. So it's also good to see that they're in the NFT sector. And that adds some more token utility as well. Also, guys, I believe the tokens will be used in the Hello Arcade, but I'll talk a little bit more about that towards the end of the video. So one of the important things I like to look at when I review a crypto project is obviously the team. Very important thing to look at. Um, so many crypto projects go anonymous. They don't have a team and then they end up being rug pulls or scams. If a project are showing themselves, if the founders are out, um, out and about, showing their faces, talking, doing AMAs, things like that, it's definitely something that makes me bullish on a crypto project. And Hello is certainly ticking all of those boxes in that sector. So you can see here the founder, Paul Caslin, and various other members of the team all have their LinkedIn pages basically doxxed and all of their full names and pictures. Now, Paul Caslin is the guy that I want to kind of focus on today. And that is because of his vast plethora of experience in the entertainment sector in Web2. We're talking music and we're talking films. He's known for hosting or not hosting, but kind of directing, producing the 22, sorry, the 2020 MTV Video Music Awards, the 2019 MTV Video Music Awards and the MTV EMA Seville or Seville. I don't know how you guys say that. I would say Seville in Spain, 2019 um, show. So there's a lot of different credentials there just in terms of some of the things that he has basically produced. Um, he also has one nomination for a Grammy Award. So that's another interesting fact about Paul Caslin. Now, if you scroll down, you can see some of the things that he's known for. I'm getting loads of ads, which is annoying. You can see some of the things he's known for. You've got the 2020 awards, all of those things. Rihanna, right? He directed a film on Rihanna, I believe. 
And you can see loads and loads of other shows and films that he has basically produced or directed. I don't really know the correct terminology, but there's loads that he's got involved in, the likes of Jesse J, Cheryl Cole, right? Famous British singer. Loads and loads of different people. So very much a household name in the music industry and the TV industry. And that is the definite person that you want behind a crypto project like this. You don't just want some nobody who has no network, no links, no experience. You want someone who has a plethora of networking ability, knows people in the music and kind of entertainment sector, and someone who knows how to run a successful business and plan things. And that is definitely what you've got with Paul Castlin. Now, some of you guys may say, is this video sponsored? Absolutely not. I've never done a sponsored video on my channel. I'm just really seeing potential with this project and I really do believe in it. So the final thing that I wanted to talk about with Hello is the Hello Arcade. Now, this isn't too adapted right now. It doesn't have too many games out. It only has two. You have Dash of the Dead, which is a pretty cool game. You can literally go on it right now and start playing it, which I like. Um, but they also have a game down here called Doge Dash. So they've got two games. Doge Dash is certainly a hype game linked to Dogecoin. So people are obviously going to play that. And Dash of the Dead is a very cool kind of subway surfer style game. I'll show you guys very quickly. I'm not going to play it, but I'll just show you how it works. Um, basically, you open it up on a browser. You, you know, choose to log in or you choose to just do the guest option. You can literally start playing the game. You move your mouse or your um, kind of keys and you can play the game and start earning tokens, I believe. So very smart idea. Not a difficult game to make, probably, but it's certainly going to generate a lot of hype. I hope they keep developing their games. I hope they implement more token utility within their games, play to earn, NFTs, you know, assets, in-game assets that you can own, loads of those different things. I hope they do that. And they make even more games heading into the bull run. I know they're putting all of their resources and focus into their Killer Whales TV series right now. And maybe they'll make even more TV series further down the line. But there's still a lot of potential with their Hello Arcade because it's flashy, because it's colorful, and it gets a lot of hype. It does describe down here that they implement play to earn and play to own experience. I would like to do a deeper dive into that in the future and see actually how they're doing that. When I play this game, it's just kind of a simple game. But um, yeah, it'd be good to see kind of improvements and more games coming out. But still, guys, two games is better than a lot of crypto projects. I can tell you that. If you look at the project's last bull run that performed well, there was a lot, and I mean a lot, of crappy gaming projects with pretty much no game on offer that went to market cap levels of 100x Um or, or gains of 100x, right? Many of them went to market caps of 200 million, 300 million, much, much more. Very, very doable um, for Hello. In fact, we're going to talk about the price and my market cap prediction right now. And you guys will probably be surprised. But I think this project has easy 100x potential. We're talking a market cap here of $27 million. I told you guys before that last bull run, Gala went to $5 billion. Last bull run, Axie Infinity went to $10 billion. The reason why I am emphasizing last bull run is because each bull run gets bigger. This bull run, I would expect Gala to do better than what it did last bull run. This bull run, I would believe that many gaming projects go to 5 to $10 billion. So for Hello to do a 100x in market cap, you're talking a $2.7 billion Hello token. Extremely doable. 100x your money great gains. Um, I think it's going to happen. And if you were fortunate enough to be buying lower down, your gains are going to be even more incredible. So very strong project. I really do like it. It's one of my number one picks for this bull run. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Tell me which gaming projects you guys are eyeing up or entertainment projects that you are eyeing up. Are you looking at Hourglass? Are you looking at Gala? Which types of projects are on your radar? Finally, guys, make sure to check out my Patreon page. It is linked in the description. If you want to gain access to loads of low-cap gems like Hello, but even more degen, even smaller in market cap, way before the rest of the crowd, this is the group to join. I drop buy alerts whenever I find a new micro cap, and quite often they go on to do very, very 
reasonable returns. Just in January and February, when loads of the low caps were rallying, I got a 50x on Viot, and some of my Patreons made very good gains on Demetra and AGIX as well. And I made really good gains on AGIX, getting the 10x. So if you want to get these types of gains, guys, and when the bull run hits, it's going to go crazy, this is the place to be. I recommend the VIP Plus tier because it gives you my buy and sell alerts. So not just the buy alerts, you can also see when I'm taking profits and you gain access to the VIP Telegram group. But if you want to be even more serious, go for that boss tier as that unlocks one-to-one -one calls. You can book a call to me. Uh, you can book a call with me whenever you want. You can go over any of your crypto needs and I highly recommend it. People get a hell of a lot of value from doing these. Just one call a week or one call a month we can do. Um, and you'll get so much value. Um, trust me. There's only eight spots remaining in this tier, and then the prices will rise for new Patreons. The ones who are already paying, it will not change. Um, existing Patreons, don't worry, your, your prices won't change. But if you join after this runs out, the prices will be higher. So make sure to grab a spot while you can. It's going to be very high in demand this bull run. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.